it's wonderful to be here um, and thank you um, you know um, you have had creation wines I think for the last five or six years for sure um, yeah big fan been one of our supporters and um, Marcel's done quite a few dinners with us and we've had some amazing pairings mm -hmm. um, we did the chef's pairing last time um, exactly. I was up here. yeah um, and today you've chosen our Viognier um, so I'd like to just get your take on that, what you think about Viognier, how it works in South Africa, and I think um, that you have some really amazing dishes um, here at Cafe 99, and what I love about them is that they sort of have the slight Asian twist, which seems to work so well with the wine. So um, I think it's a, a great choice, but you must tell me why you specifically think it works for you. Um. Being a small establishment in Durban, you, you often find the clientele is looking for something that they know, that they're comfortable with, and pushing them into a different sphere, you know, where they can't actually pronounce the word maybe, or they're scared to say something wrong, and perhaps even the preconception is that Viognier isn't a single varietal, it's a, it's a blend of, of white varietals, and breaking down those barriers and, and giving them an experience which is completely unique. Um, and very much one of the top end quality products in South Africa for this varietal. Uh, unusual that it comes from such a cold climate area because uh, often you find a lot of Viognier coming out of Paul and, and Worcester and, and strange areas that don't really equate well to, to what the end product should, should be. And I mean this lean character isn't so much lean, it's sleek and it's elegant and it's it's a sexy wine, which works with a good range of, of, of flavors, whether it's cheese, whether it's something sweeter, something with that, as you say, Asian twist to it, which we're quite famous for, I think, ever since Marcel took over the kitchen and, and really started putting her imprints of personality onto the plates, um, people have come to love it and equate it to the experience that we, we offer. Yeah, I think it's such a unique take, you know, um, and I just love her food. It's so honest and so flavorful and so unique at the same time, the combinations of flavors that she uses. Um, so that's wonderful. And can you give us some, can you taste this and give us some of your tasting notes on it? Sure. Uh, wonderful florality on the nose, but this 15 for me is, is shouting white stone fruit and ginger flower and host of sort of savory spice as opposed to sweeter spices. Um, I, I'm apt to say something like bay leaf, perhaps, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. uh, even tarragon. Yeah. And again, yeah, that, that just that wonderful sort of peachiness. And it's not like screaming, it's not saying, oh, I am Viognier. And you might very well mistake it in a blind tasting for, for something else or perhaps even a blend. But for me, the, the Viognier presence here it just draws you into the glass. That nose is, is compelling. Mm. And here, just like a lot of the creation um, stable, a wonderful line of acid. It just it, it, it tingles on the t tip of the tongue and it holds the fruit together and it really brings that finish to, to a great lengthy close. And that's why I think this will work perfectly with the dish we've chosen today. Just that um, great secondary varietal character that happens in the mid palate and that finish. Uh, it just will roll in line with umami flavors, with a hint of spice, sweeter textures, and certainly um, fattier dishes. You know, fowl is often sometimes not trimmed or you know, trimmed at all. And the idea is that the acid will probably help you cut through that in the palate. And, and, yeah, yeah. And just give you that wonderful texture. Fantastic. Mm. So you're going to bring the dish Let's so we can that. taste it. Fantastic. Um, tell me about this lovely dish that um, you've um, So we've taken some free range duck from the Midlands um, and we glaze the, the breasts with a touch of plum and a hint of ginger. Mm. We'll seal that in the pan, finish it off in the oven, but never more so than medium rare because we want to have a nice pleasing texture of, of the flesh beneath that crispy the skin. And then beneath it we've put oyster mushrooms, mm. also of uh, local cuisine as well, origin, sautéed off with some fish sauce, a little oyster sauce, some lime, and baby spinach. And then we toss through the egg noodles and a splash of chicken stock to hold all those ingredients and we'll seat it beneath the sliced duck breast and simply lavish a few micro leaves from uh, Hillcrest also up the hill. 
Fantastic. Yeah, keeping an idea of you know carbon consciousness and local and seasonal produce from ourselves always very content to let the distributor have their say and never more than the quality of their produce, I think. Fantastic. Well, I've seen some of the guys actually bringing in their products and it's awesome <laughs> how excited she gets about it. Um, I just um, tell us a little bit about how you think the different flavors pair with the wine. So there's a, a, a fair amount of umami or savory character in, on this dish, as well as the, the sort of spice aspect and the hint of sweetness from the plum on the, on the, the, the Dutch West actual glaze. And that in the wine are the three different, for me, palate profiles that, that, that screen this dish and screen this wine. Um, firstly, that acidity will help you with the, 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 the sort of fat, crispy fat coating, as well as the texture of those oyster mushrooms, which are somewhat fleshy. Then the egg noodles of the baby spinach and the texture of the, the fish sauce, the chili, and a little bit of the, the oyster as well, giving you the fermented, savory, umami character that Again, the, the, the spice character and perhaps the oaking on this wine will sort of compare nicely and contrast against. Fantastic. So, shall we try it? Mmm, that's nice. <laughs> we poured some more. Mmm, those mushrooms, yummy. Yeah, he's been playing with a whole bunch of different kinds of oyster mushrooms the salmon, coral ones. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. It is just so tasty and juicy and crunchy mm. Mm. gorgeous layers of flavor and these mushrooms are too beautiful they really are quite gorgeous mm. Mm. just lovely yeah perfect kind of almost creates um a fr you know a little bit more fruit coming That's through in the wine nice. huh yeah. and a little fruit burst um, just kind of working so beautifully with those spices, kind yeah. of cooling, elevating, uh, working sure. together with it. It's like and really the crunchy lovely tone and the crispiness of the acidity actually are wonderful. Yeah, yeah. the freshness of the wine mm. with the slight richness of the dish, cleansing awesome. the palate between mouthfuls of food. It's nice. delicious. Yeah. yeah, very very nice. Really wonderful. What a great choice. Thank you. Just have to say. What a great wine. Thank you, Sante. <laughs> Sante. <laughs> wonderful. Thank you, Mo.